to our first week of virtual Children's Liturgy of the Word. So today's gospel story we'll be hearing takes place in a vineyard. Have you ever seen a vineyard before? If you haven't, here's a photo of one. Now vineyards are very big and they take a lot of work to run. So this is the backdrop for our story that Jesus will be telling us today. So when you're trying to picture what this vineyard might have looked like, maybe it looked like this one. Let us begin with our opening prayer. We pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Dear God, help me spend today with a smile on my face, love in my heart, and joy in God's grace. Amen. So in today's gospel story, Jesus tells us a story of a group of men who agreed to work in a vineyard for a very wealthy man. In return for working, they would get part of the harvest for themselves. But what do you think would happen if those men decided to not go with the agreement and instead keep everything for themselves? Well, that's the story we're going to listen to today. So let's listen together and find out what happened. Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told the chief priest and leaders to listen to a story. A landowner once planted a vineyard. He built a wall around it and dug a pit to crush the grapes in. He also built a lookout tower. Then he rented out his vineyard and left the country. When it was harvest time, the owner sent some servants to get his share of the grapes. But the renters grabbed those servants. They beat him up, killed them, and stoned one of them. Then he sent more servants than he did the first time, but the renters treated them the same way. Finally, the owner sent his own son to the renters because he thought they would respect him. But when they saw the man's son, they said, Someday he will own the vineyard. Let's kill him. Then we'll have it all for ourselves. So they grabbed him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. Jesus asked, When the owner of the vineyard comes, what do you suppose he will do to those renters? The chief priests and leaders answered, He will kill them in some horrible way. Then he will rent his vineyard to people who will give him his share of the grapes at harvest time. Jesus replied, Surely you know that the scriptures say, The stone that the builders tossed aside is now the most important stone of all. This is something the Lord has done, and it is amazing to us. I tell you that God's kingdom will be taken from you and given to people who will do what he demands. The Gospel of the Lord. So what's today's story all about? Well, have you ever wanted a pet? Maybe you've asked for a doggy or a kitty. I did that a lot too. And I bet you got a similar answer to what I always got, which was that you can have a pet when you show that you can take care of it. Animals are a big responsibility. We have to make sure they have water and their food. Sometimes we have to take them out. They need exercise, they need attention, we need to play with them. Those are all important things. And so a pet in many ways is a gift or a blessing in our lives. But we need to show that we can honor that gift and take care of that blessing that was given to us. Now God gives us everything, right? Our whole world is a gift from God and God gives us so many blessings in our lives. So we always need to take care of those blessings, all those things that God gives us. And we also show God how grateful we are by sharing. 
So for example, uh, maybe we are so grateful because we have enough food to eat, right? So to share that blessing, we give food to maybe a food pantry or a food drive, or maybe we help in a collection of items for families who are in need. Those are always by sharing the gifts that God has given us. We're sharing those blessings. And that's what he asked of us. Just like the renters were asked to share with the owner, we're asked to share our blessings with each other. And that is one of the ways that we show God how grateful we are and how much we love him. Now we're going to recite our profession of faith. After each one say, I do. Do you believe in God, the Father, who is all good and all wise? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? God's only Son. I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, who is the Spirit of love living in us? I do. As a people blessed by a loving God, let us pray that our church and our world will be blessed too. Our response to each petition will be, Hear us, O Lord. For our church and all the families in our parish, we pray, hear us, O Lord. For our friends and our families, we pray, hear us, O Lord. For all those who are sick or caring for those who are sick, we pray, hear us, O Lord. And what would you like to pray for today? Come on.